Welcome! In front of me I have Michael Kors Access Grayson and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the side button. Keep holding the button uh, until you see the uh, Michael Kors Access on the screen. Then you can uh, release the button and wait until the watch turns on. After the watch turns on, you may see the tab to begin on the screen. Once you see it, tap on it to continue. And after you tap on the screen, you will see the list of languages. Scroll through the list by swiping on the screen, find the language you would like to use on your watch, and once you find it, tap on it to select it. Okay, that was weird. The watch froze up for a second, but as you, as you can see, after you select the language, you will need to download and install the Wear OS application on the phone you want to pair your watch with. So go grab the phone, check if you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the Play Store. In the Play Store, tap on search and type in uh, Wear OS and tap on the search button. And you should see this application, Wear OS by Google. I already have it installed, as you can see, but you can tap on it and tap on the install button right here. I have an update button, button instead, but you will see the install button. Tap on it to install the app. I'm going to update it. And after the application is done installing, you can see the open button. You can tap on it to open the app. Allow the required permission. Check or uncheck the box to agree to send the usage and diagnostic reports if you want to. Scroll down and then tap on agree and continue. The, the watch or rather the app will look for the nearby devices and it should detect your watch. Once it does, tap on the name of the watch to select it. Tap on pair. Right here we can copy a Google account to our watch. Uh, this is required if you want to use uh, Google features on your watch like Play Store, Gmail and stuff like that. If you don't care, you can tap on skip and not copy anything. But if you want to copy the Google account from your phone, basically you need to enable account by tapping on the switch next to it. And once you enable the account or the switch, tap next. Here tap on copy. And now we need to enter the password to confirm that we own this account. So let me enter the password. And then tap on sign in. Right here we can uh, allow the permission for the location. This is useful if you want to for example, track your routes when you're running and cycling on the map. Uh, so we can tap on next. And if you have the pop-up on the screen, you can allow or deny the permission for the location. And uh, once you're done with the permissions, the setup process will continue and you need to wait until it's done. Okay, and once you see this page, tap on down and you should see your Grayson watch in the app. Also, on the watch you will see you're all set and you should be able to use your watch at this point. Come on, it should be working. Okay, it's a bit laggy, but as you can see, you, you can use the watch. So, basically that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.